The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good day, folks. Welcome to the January 28th, the fantastic Friday edition of today's Trader's Edge show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. And let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. And the easiest way to do that is to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two by four shift means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We'll go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I just past. Well, it's really just past eight o'clock in the morning. So if you are listening live at the normal uh, show at well, one o'clock, thanks so much for doing uh, that. Uh, uh, but we are recording this live uh, between 8 and 9. And so if you are listening in, we would love to hear from you. So three ways to do that. You can give us a call at 877-927-6648. If you can't call in, you can always send me an email. But send it early, please. Send it to steve at tfnn.com. And inside that subject heading, if you would be kind enough to put radio show question. And, of course, in our Tiger's Den, well, any and every ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on Fantastic Friday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to Lush Show. Right now, we've got all the U.S. equity futures trading to the downside. The Dow's off 354 points, 1 percent. About nine tenths for the Nasdaq, 117 points, 1 percent for the S&P. That's 42 points, and one and a half percent for the Russell. She's down 29 points, trading out at 1899. Across the globe last night, over in Asia, it was a mixed bag. The Nikkei up 547 points. I believe the day before it was down 3 percent or more, and yesterday was up 2 percent. You had the Shanghai, uh, that was uh, down 34 points, 1%, 1% 1 1 for the Hang Seng as well, 256 points to the downside. In uh, Europe this morning, we have the uh, DAX down 356 points and the FTSE down 132. We'll go figure out what that actually means to you and I. Gold's off eight bucks this morning. She's trading at 1784, trading back into the support area of its bullish structured weekly profile. Silver doing the same. It's uh, down 24 cents, 22.43 is the print there. And the 30 year Treasury is off 26 ticks. She's trading at 154.19. There is no such thing as a flight to quality in this liquidation event that is going on inside the market. So let's begin the show by taking. Okay, like, well, first, let's update you on yesterday's uh, profiles that were attempting to form and actually did form. So what you now have is you now know where buyers and sellers reside inside the ES Mini, the NQ, the Dow. Well, in the Russell 2000, which has uh, taken out the bottom of that profile, did that two days ago and uh, has continued to do that. So your support level, key support level you're watching, is 42.58 for the ES Mini. Now, even though that is support, there was a bullish hammer candle that formed on Monday. So the real so, so that you've got really two levels of support to watch and observe during the day today. The first is that 42.58. If price closes below that, it it signals its intent to go back and at least test or maybe take out the uh, lows for Monday. The Russell 2000 has already taken out the lows for Monday. So is that a signal to you and I? I'm not sure. We'll go take a look at the details of the Russell 2000. But I would say a move below 42.58 is a signal that price, at least the ES Mini, should back to test that low. And that low is 42.12. Now, the NASDAQ right now is giving us a signal that that is, in fact, what it wants to do. Why? Because it's trading below the bottom of its daily profile and it's at the 13,900 level. So we need to take a look at its charts, which we will. And we'll look at it in detail to try to understand if there's any turn signals coming from any of the intraday time frames. If not, what you should be prepared for, at least this morning, if you're listening live, I don't know what it will be doing at 110 in the afternoon. But the NQ is suggesting it wants to go test that low of money, test it or take it out. That I don't know. The Dow is the stronger of the uh, four out here. 
I say stronger of the four. It's uh, further away. hasn't even got down to the bottom of that new profile. Now, the new profile in the uh, Dow and the uh, Russell formed a couple days, uh, really four days ago out here. And so that level, level to be watching is the 33.366 area. If the YM begins trading below that, then that's telling you that its intent is to go test the lows from Monday. Those lows from Monday being 33.031 out there. So it's the 33.366 and the 33.031 levels for the Dow to be watching. Now you've got upside out here, right? The market could bottom. We are at the end of January. Of course, Monday would really be the end of January. We know that the Dow, from a seasonal standpoint, makes uh, bottoms. It makes tops around January 5th. This year was January 3rd. And it makes bottoms right around January 30th. But today's the 28th. Monday's the 31st out there. So we're really inside that window. And, and we should be paying attention to look to see if that is a possibility out there. So you got the new profile information. Now let's go dig down into the... Uh, Let's go dig down into the the intraday chart. So let's just take a look at each of the equity futures contracts. So let's do this first. Uh, I've got to change screens. Give me a moment to get this set up. And let's go take a look at the NQ first because that is trading below the bottom of that daily profile. We want to understand, is that a real move? Uh, or is it indicating that we've got some type of uh, bottoming signals on those intraday time frame charts? So uh, right here... So let's begin really looking at uh, natural gas. We'll come back to natural gas, but let me actually put up the NQ here. And uh, let's begin by, so the shortest time frame that I'm showing on this screen is the upper right-hand corner. And that's the 30-minute uh, chart. So when we take a look at the 30-minute chart, what we know is last night at about 1030, uh, what the NQ did was it generated a TD9 top. Price has pulled back ever since. Now, earlier this morning, 6, 7 o'clock, uh, what Price was doing was testing his breakout level, 13,961.25. Now, he didn't have a bottoming pattern, but oftentimes that can be where Price will find support and move off of that. Well, we can see that that is not what occurred. And in fact, uh, by 8 o'clock this morning, price closed right below that 13,961. Then the very next bar, that's the one that came uh, to fruition as we came on the air, basically at 8 o'clock. So you got two consecutive closes below that. So now what we have out here is an A to B equals CD to the downside on a 30-minute chart for the NQ. So let's try to figure out where that might take us to. And to do that, I'm going to go ahead and change screens again because uh, I don't have the tool to draw the A to B equals CD patterns on the white background chart. But I most certainly do here for the NQ. And I'm just going to simply expand out the chart so you can see the a to b equals cd to the upside that we had in place yesterday it never did make that move out there uh, so not all a to b equals cd patterns will come to fruition so we've got that pointed out but the pattern i'm just going to draw the conserve there's really two different a to b equals cd patterns that could form out here so let's just take a look at the one that might be underway right now and i'm going to start with the high at 10 o'clock on january 27th and the low, that's 10 o'clock in the morning. And the low out here at 3 o'clock uh, yesterday afternoon. And then the high actually, let me see, was that high on this bar? Well, first I've got to be able to read my data window out here. So it that, looks like that's the high. That's at uh, 14, 183.50. Yeah, so that's the uh, C point out here. So you got to take the high. After you can find the B point, you've got to go to the highest high out here. And so in this case here, that's the uh, 6 p.m. A session. So your one-to-one -one A to B equals CD pattern is going to take you to 13,719. And voila, what is that a test of? Well, that'll be a test of the uh, lows from Monday out there, from January 24th. So you got price below the bottom of its 30-minute profile. Now, price is running into a potential support area. Well, we did see some lows come in at 22.30 hours out there. So what is that, 10.30 on January 26th? That low is 13,844. So if you see a close below 13,844, that will have failed. And this A to B will see to the downside should come to fruition. Steve Rhodes with TFNN will be back in just a few minutes. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. 
For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, you folks. So back to the NQ charts out here. Uh, so the, the the bottom signals that came, or the bottom signal that came on Monday, those are still in place out here for each of the intraday time frames out here. So no reason to actually belabor that. Uh, I realized that when I opened up the charts and started looking around. Uh, and so the only pattern that, so we, well, here's what we know about the NQ. Price is right back at support, the bottom of that profile. And again, that level, that's a new profile that formed yesterday, is at the uh, 13900 level. It should hold. Theoretically, it should hold. But if it doesn't, then we've got the A to B equals CD to the downside in the intraday charts. That didn't actually take out Monday's low out there. What happens if we do take out Monday's low? The question should be, where is it that price would likely target next? And that question is answered by these charts here. And that's why I went back to this. And that would be the breakout level from the weekly time frame. Uh, for the uh, for the NQ, which is at 13,462. If price were to close below that, then we'd be looking at a run to 12,207. That equates to the breakout level for the monthly time frame. So we'll leave it there. We do have a number of questions that have come in, but before we go to uh, start to those here, as I, I do want to get to each of the questions that, that have come in. Let's just do just a quick review of where we're at with multiple instruments out here. So we're already talking about the ES Mini and the NQ. Those are in the upper panels. The only other thing that I think I did not share with you is the the structure of the profile in the ES is bullish. The structure of uh, the NQ is bearish. Now, what that means is that any rally in the NQ will begin to find resistance at 14,484 to 14,874. Uh, so, again, I don't know where price is going to be trading at 119 in the afternoon, let alone 820 in the morning to say 819 right now. But we certainly utilize these tools to help assist us with understanding that. So your resistance level in the NQ is 14,484 to 14,874. If we take a look at the U.S. dollar index, that's the only flight to quality that I see out here over the past uh, week. We can see how the U.S. dollar index has continued to rise. Uh, that next target 
for the U.S. dollar index is the top of its quarterly profile, and that's at the 98.55 level. Gold has pulled back into the bullish structured level of its weekly profiles, and that's between the range of 17.63 to 17.90. Price right now trading out at 17.90 and 40 cents. Silver's really doing the same thing. So both are below their daily profile levels. Those are the blue color you see out there. I've got yellow for gold. I've got green for silver. No reason why. <laughs> but uh, the, so silver has not actually made it back to that support level, which would be at 2223. And below that would be 2182. Light sweet crude is going to go target the top of its quarterly profile. That's at 8903. And if price is able to close above that, of course, the quarter is not over. Oh, you don't see the camera. Where is it? Oh, sorry about that. Wow, that's really smart, Stevie. Good job. Take everybody through all this stuff and then don't actually have it turned on. Well, it's turned on now, so you can see that. Sorry about that, folks out there. Uh, so let's uh, get back to where it was. So what was I was talking about? Light sweet crude. So light sweet crude, 89.03. That's that red horizontal line going across my screen out there. That's the top of the quarterly profile for light sweet crude. And if price is able to close above that, there are no more profile levels. That price now there may be a new one that eventually forms, but there would be nothing. There would be no resistance and says they'd like to be crude. Uh, it'd be like driving on the expressway and passing through all that traffic. And for those of you that uh, uh, have a uh, lead foot, uh, Stevie being one of those, you'd be uh, you'd be pressing that down and you'd be off to the races out there. Speaking of off to the races, it could be natural gas that's off to the races. Right now, it is taking out a B point of a potential small A to B equals C to the upside. You can see it's taking out trend lines out there. So let's begin there because our first question really coming in uh, about natural gas, what's it doing? What do the A to B equals C D patterns look like? So for natural gas, let me do this here. I believe I've got a chart that will... Where did I put that chart? Mm -hmm. That's gold. So gas has got to come. Here's natural gas. It must be this chart right here. Okay. So now we've got this chart out. So if, when we take a look at natural gas, we're trying to understand what's it communicating to you and I. We want to understand what's price doing as it got to the area where sellers are at. Well, in the case of the uh, daily time frame, you can see it took that out yesterday, the top of the bear structured profile, let alone took out trend line resistance. The weekly price is now above the top of its weekly profile. That is at 415. So that's a positive. And we have on a monthly basis, of course, the month doesn't end until Monday, but price right now trades above the top of its bearish structured profile and that high out there is um, 4.44 4, 4. 4. so assuming that price is able to close above this just simply from a profile standpoint the next target will become five dollars and four cents the top of that quarterly profile with regard to the a to b equals cd pattern out here and again won't be confirmed until the end of the trading session today because price has to close above the b point and that b point level is uh, well, i'll tell you in a moment is uh $4.57. Uh, no, that's not right. Uh, I'll tell you the B point is $4.35. Right now we're at four fifty two. So let me pull this back a tad. In fact, let me do this here. Let me get rid of the trend lines. That's just clogging things up and, you know, making you go cross-eyed out there. And I already make you go cross-eyed enough by talking about a set of charts and don't show them on the screen. So let's get rid of those trend lines out here. Now you can more clearly see the A to B equals CD pattern. So if price is able to take out this level uh, or stay at least I'd say stay above uh, today would be well really Monday is what you're looking for out here. S&P is a close above four dollars and forty four cents. If we do that then likely we'll see a move up to 482, 515 and 515 would be the 1.618. That would get us back to its recent highs. That gets us back to the top of the uh, quarterly profile. So it really seems like that would be the target. So hope that helps you out with regard to natural gas. I know you're trading one of the other ETFs out there, but it's all based upon what's going on inside of natural gas. Of course, you want to take a look to see which contracts uh, are included there. If I take a look at the uh, current contracts that we have out here that could be a part of the uh, UNG or boil out there, you can see that prices above trend lines and, and so forth. So there's nothing out here no roadblocks that we see at this moment in time. So I do hope that helps you out. The next question that came in was from Hector. This came in yesterday afternoon, and Hector wanted to take a look at Exxon Mobil. So let me get the three panel chart. Okay, I've got that there, and we've got that. You're watching that screen. Now let me get back to my other charts here, my white background charts, and get Exxon Mobil fired up there so we can just take a look at what its message is to you and I. Oh, did I just do that? Son of a gun. Every now and then, folks, I, I hit the wrong button. In this case here, I hit the wrong button. That's a really wrong button. It means during the next break, I'm going to have to shut uh, parts of my system down. 
That's a bummer. Okay, so back to ExxonMobil. Here's what we know. So what Hector was looking at, his question was basically, if we look at the longer term time frame, is this just a large consolidation? And it may be. And that consolidation pattern, I believe that he's looking at the bottom is really easy to detect because you're looking at the low from the uh, this monthly chart, the low from the month of uh, July of 20, 2002. And that's really where the uh, lows that formed out here in March of 2020, as well as the lows here in October of 2020, found support. So the bottom of the consolidation is very easy to find. The top is a little bit more complicated. Is it really right up here? Is it right here? Is it right here? You know, I, that, that's a it's a it's a tough one to call out there. So it could be a consolidation, could be a large consolidation. But really, the question I think that Hector's asking is, can price get back to the ninety six, ninety nine hundred dollar level out there? And so for that, let's just go look at our other technical tools. Unfortunately, I can't pull that white background chart up on my screen out there. In fact, let me just. This is going to take forever. I'm just going to kill that process right now, and then I'll just deal. So sorry about that, folks. But just in, in order to be able to provide you with the information that you're looking for, I need to be able to access those charts. So I'm going to have to just simply kill this the way you don't like to. Sometimes it screws everything up. Okay, so back to ExxonMobil. Here's what we know. What we know is prices trade above all profile levels, the weekly, the monthly. And you've got a nice A to B equals CD pattern. And Hector, if you take a look at move off that C point, prices along the left-hand side of that C to D leg, even though it's made it to the 1.272 expansion level, its next price target should be about 8107, the 1.618. A to B equals CD to the upside for the weekly time frame for ExxonMobil. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com.
welcome back, uh, folks. We've got the charts for Exxon Mobil up on our screen here, and Hector and uh, Patty. N no topping signal uh, present for the daily time frame. Does have a rose momentum indicator signal triggered, but that needs a bearish reversal candle combined with a close below its oscillator and change line. Currently printed at seventy three sixty nine. So you'd be on the lookout for that. Uh, to form that would just indicate a short term uh, top would be out there, but we don't have that signal as we speak. Weekly time frame as bullish as can be. Price is above 71.36. That was a TD9 count breakdown level, so this suggests it wants to move higher. And on the monthly time frame chart, we've got the A to B equals CD pattern we looked at. The monthly is suggesting that it wants to make a move to 143 over time. So everything here in Exxon Mobil looks uh, great, whether it's a large consolidation or not. Uh, you know, that's yet to be seen out here, but ExxonMobil does look like it wants to continue to head to higher ground. We've got Earl in Seminole on the uh, line. Earl, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you doing today? Good morning. Good morning, Good morning. Steve. Um, short the IWM, and I'd like to look at maybe a target for, how, uh, you know, what to look at going down. Okay. So uh, give me a moment here. Um Sorry, my computer. I had to shut things down for a while, and I've got to deal with the uh, with the aftermath, which is some corrupted files. But uh, back to your question here about IWM. So you're looking for a price target, and uh, let me see if I get this to pull up here. We've got some speed issues going on, so I'm not sure what's clogged. Well, I guess uh, I'm not. It's 8:30. Can clog up the markets. So did you have a price target when you got into it, Earl? Uh, yeah, I. Uh I know it's uh, it's going down uh, in the midst of a crash, and uh, I was just uh, wondering if if uh, you know what you see as a target. Okay, so the I'm I'm on the weekly time frame chart for you right now, and the weekly time frame shows an A to B equals CD pattern, and that first price projection level is 191.43, and price yesterday closed at 191.52. So the next price target level for the A to B equals CD pattern, Earl, would be the 181.72 level. Any questions about no. that? No, that's that's what I'm looking at. Yeah. Okay, so, but before we do that here, what I want to take a look at is the uh, futures contract for you. So we want to, I, want to, I want you to understand what to be watching for today out here, because there's always a possibility of a turn. So let's look at sure. what that would look like. So, and the reason that we want to pay attention to this, the Russell 2000, is that at this moment right now, it has several bottoming patterns. And right now, each of those bottoming patterns are being tested. So the first bottoming pattern that formed out here was really two at the same time. This was on Monday, Earl. And this was a buy the D point, had the A to B equal CD to the downside. It was confirmed with a bull sash candle. That's what we look for. The and on that day, on Monday, there's also a new profile that formed. And the support there was 1953.60. Now, that gave way yesterday. But the real support level that's really being tested out here is the lows of Monday. And that's what you really want to watch, Earl. And so on the Russell 2000, equity future contract that low is 1925.20 and right now we're at 1919 so that level is clearly being tested that was also a TD nine count bottom now what's triggered today is a roads momentum indicator signal and if there were to be a bullish reversal candle today then all that's telling you is that this bottom is held and that price will take a run for the equity future contract up to about the 2004 level 2002 to be exact, but if price were to rise, that's going to rise as well. So it's somewhere in that range. That would be where a counter trend move would get to. If price were to close above that red oscillator and change line, again, right now on my screen, it's printed on a 2002, then I would consider closing out the short and closing out the short and then look, taking a look at perhaps re-entering that at around the 2152, 2180 to 2209 level. It would just depend upon what patterns are going on if price were to make it up there. You also have wave number seven. That's courtesy of Basil Chapman. So the Russell 2000 is really uh, is kind of like our laboratory here. You happen to be in it, but really watching this because you could get four bottoming signals in it. But again, even with all those bottoming signals, Earl, the, the key area is going to be that oscillator and change line, which has acted as resistance, uh, quite frankly, ever since January the 5th, ever since the high that was put in inside of the uh, inside of the uh, Dow out here. So any questions about this set of charts or those parameters that I've shared with you? Perfect analysis. Steve, you're the best. I don't care what anybody says. <laughs> well, that's perfect. I appreciate that uh, for you because there's plenty of people that will take the other side of that trade. But Earl, I'll take you on my side of the trade. 
Not me. I'm uh, I'm in the Steve camp. All right. I love it. I love it. Well, thanks for your call. Uh, always much appreciated. And, and watch those levels out there. Uh, they, they'll, they'll simply uh, provide you with assistance as to what the intent of the market is. Okay? Will, will do. Take care. Okay. You too as well. Uh, the next question uh, coming in is from, uh, this is from last night. Steve, the meltdown in SME is surprising. Do you see an opportunity here? So we're taking a look at the semiconductor index. I think that got pretty much trashed yesterday. Did you, is that what you said? SM, SME. No, you didn't say that. SME. Let's see what SME is. Yeah, you must have meant the SMHs because SME is not a ticker symbol. So um, if that's not correct, what you wanted me to take a look at, this is coming from a Mark. That's the beginning of the email address out here. Oh, it's Marty. Marty. It's actually Marty. That makes sense out here. So with regard to the question of the semiconductor index, Man, what is it doing out here? So it's below, the SMHs are well below, the, well, they're below the daily profile. It's, so here's the deal. It, it had a consolidation pattern. So Hector was talking about consolidations earlier out here, Marty. And all I did was I just moved the consolidation that it was in to the bottom of the consolidation. So price is near this area out here, but price is also below the bottom of its bullish structure profile that formed yesterday. What you want to see this at least do is regain the 262.25 level. So 266.25 is the bottom of that daily profile. If it doesn't do that, remember when you break through a consolidation to the upside or the downside, what it offers us is a measured move. So that's what the green rectangle, it's provided us with that measured move at this moment out here. So the question is, but it can be greater than, equal to or greater than the measured move. So if price is going to head lower, the next area to be watching out here, Marty, is going to be the lows, I would say, from October. And that's in the 248.78 level. If price gets below that, um, and this without looking at my white background charts, and we're looking at the next swing point out here from July 19th, that's about 242. And then below that, you get all the way back into the May of 2021 time period of 222.82. And is that a possibility? Yeah, it's a real possibility. But let's simply go look at the white background charts because and answer the specific question, which is, do you see an opportunity here? So the answer is sure. And that opportunity is that bar number eight formed yesterday of a TD9 count. And as long as price closes below today, and, it, and that's a likely outcome, as long as price closes below 275.23, and we closed last night at 256.69, you'll get a valid TD9 count. We can see that the oscillator and change line changed colors back on January the 19th. We know that the phenomena associated with that when that happens is we see price and that line catch up to each other eventually out here. You typically that happens more often than not when you get a valid bottoming signal. So by the end of the day, you should have a TD9 count. But remember the low of that pattern can form a bars eight. That was yesterday. Could be today or could be on Monday out there. So prices broke through two breakout levels or it really landed on uh, the second breakout level yesterday. 257.03 was that number. It uh, closed at 256.69. The next breakout level below this is 252.01. That's coming from the daily time frame chart. The weekly time frame chart as we take a look at it. If everything falls apart and it could. 170.46 would be the number you're looking at there. And on the monthly chart, you're looking at a place between 234 and 246. So the daily says, yeah, watch it. Um, and it's got potential. But again, I think it would only be a counter trend rally, Marty. And that counter trend rally should take us to the oscillator and change line. Currently printing at 279.47. We'll be right back. fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the tiger's den trading room only at tfnn.com the tiger's den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. 
Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. So the next question coming in from uh, Nicholas, and Nicholas's question goes like this: uh, What's your take on the this end of month window dressing? Probability of a positive impact? Would you comment on it? So, look, Nicholas, if I'm going to go to the NQ here, because our next question is going to be about Apple, so I'm just going to try to tie the two of these together. And here's what we know about the NQ: So the NQ's got a valid bottom. It has a buy the D point that formed on Monday with that bullish chamber candle. We go take a look at the Apple chart. It also formed a buy the D point. Uh, so it's going to emulate this when it uh, formed that uh, bullish reversal candle itself, which was also a hammer candle out here. We know that there's a new profile that is formed with support at the 13900 level. So we've got the valid bottoming signals. And if that support level holds, uh, window dressing or not, price should be able to make a move up to the top of its uh, daily profile. But before price can get up there, uh, it would have a pit stop at that oscillator and change line. That's at 14,535. So whether it's window dressing uh, that comes in and helps to push it up or the patterns that we have out here that helps to push it up, that's where, you know, that's where the rally should end is really at that red oscillator and change line. Not a guarantee that it will, not even a guarantee that we'll get up there. Um, but is it enough to actually push prices higher? We're in a liquidation event. We're absolutely in a liquidation event out there, and everything is being liquidated except the flight to quality is the U.S. dollar index. And as I share with subscribers this morning, and uh, you know, there's there's something to be said about that and what that actually means, and then what that means bigger picture to the uh, stock market out here. But Nicholas, with regard to your question specifically, will end of month the window dressing help the markets out? If the distribution or the uh, liquidation continues, then my answer would be no. But for you and I right now, we still have to use these technical patterns. We know where the buyers are lined up. We know we've got the bottom signal inside the NQ. And, and so far, that level is held, that 13900 area. And remember what Tom likes to uh, share with us, and it's a wonderful thing. If you can't bust them down, and that's what price has been trying to do since Monday evening. Really, if you can't bust them down, price will try to bust them up. And this bust them up here is uh, in that uh, oscillator and change 15 uh, or 14, 536 type area out there. So I uh, hope that answers your question. Thanks so much for it. Let's go to our next question coming in from Brent in Martinez, California. Brent up uh, early as well. And uh, Brent says, uh, could you give your analysis on Apple? Not sure if you can follow the after hours trading with your charting. Would like to know what the different time frames indicate. 
And you have a wonderful weekend as well, Brent. Thanks so much for the calls this week as well as your question here by email. So let's go take a look at Apple. Now, Apple in the pre-market is trading out at 163.95. I mentioned during that little last segment uh, that we're taking a look at for Nicholas just with regard to window dressing, uh, when we look at the NQ, that Apple's also formed to buy the D point. In the case of Apple, it's a real clear girtly buy pattern. So the A point out here is a high from January 4th. The B point out here is the low from January 10th. And the C point was the high from January 12th. So it made a 1 to 1.272 A to B equals CD to downside. Confirmed with that bullish hammer candle. And that was on January 24th. I'll go ahead and get rid of that pattern. Price also, like the NQ form in a new daily profile yesterday, so too did Apple. So Brent, your real support level to watch here is 156.61. But you know it really has to be the low of Monday. That would be the support level out there. And that low is at 154.70. Now in the pre-market, price is trading at 163.95. So I could spend some time in the, and open this up and go to pre-market trading, but I, I'm not going to do that because it'll screw up a couple of other things right now. Uh, but we know where Apple is trading, and it's trading above. Is it trading above yesterday's high? That's the first question that I have. So yesterday's high was 163.84. So I would first be watching 163.84. If Apple is able to stay above that level, that's an indication that it too wants to rally further. Now, the center of its profile, this is a bullish structured profile. So the center's at 162.33, which is where it closed yesterday. And if price can close above that, now that's why I go back to yesterday's high. If price can take out yesterday's high and remains above it, let Apple says 171.87. So back to you, Nicholas. Whether it's a counter trend rally or it's the way that the markets are behaving, or Apple, which is a uh, certainly a, 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 a leader out here, that could add weight to a, a rally up into that level. Now, Brett also wanted me to take a look at the other Apple charts out here. So let's pull those over here. The, the daily time frame also shows us that that confirmed Gartley buy pattern formed right at its breakout level, 157.80. When this made a Rhodes Mentum indicator top back here on January 4th, when it generated that bearish dark cloud cover candle, you and I would have chosen as battleground levels, the profile levels. And then we would have said the ultimate buy area for Apple, because people up there would be saying, you know, is there ever going to be a dip? Where would I buy Apple? We would have said, well, 157.80 would be the likely price target. Now, of course, what you'd like to see there is some type of bottom signal. And that's what we got with regard to Apple. Now, Apple's oscillator and change line, Brent, changed colors two days ago. So with Apple trading higher in the pre-market, that's going to be the level to be watching. And that's at 166.88 or thereabouts. So if price is able to overtake that, it almost assures us of a run to 171.87. That's on the daily time frame. The weekly time frame, as we take a look at its chart patterns, doesn't have any kind of a bottoming signal. It's got the top. It's got the TD9 count. It's got the Rhodes Mintum indicator tops out there. And uh, So if Apple fails to rally and takes out Monday's low, then the price target out here would be 143.16 to 1. 5095. The last was the uh, bottom of the monthly profile or the weekly profile, and the uh, and the uh, 143.16 is the breakout level on a monthly time frame chart out here. Let's see if we can get to a monthly time frame chart. What Apple is uh, doing right now, and the question is where does it? So it's got the confirmed Rhodes Mintum indicator topping signal. That's likely not to go away by Monday out here. But the question is, is price close below the oscillator and change line, which is green? The oscillator and change line is 160.22. And if price does not take that out, close below it, come Monday, then it's providing us with a neutral signal. And we have to defer back to the weekly and daily charts out there with regard to where it wants to go. But right now, we've got the parameters for Apple. I would say if price is above yesterday's high, and then it is above the oscillator and change line out there. And again, that oscillator and change line was 166.88. We're only trading at 163.99. 95 in the pre-market then that suggests that moved to 171.87 so brent and nicholas i uh, kind of uh, tag teamed you there i hope that that helps you out and uh, thanks so much there was a question earlier inside the tiger's den i apologize i don't recall who asked but they wanted to take a look at micron mu is a ticker symbol so micron formed a new weekly profile this week and price is trading below that if price closed below 82.32 that suggests lower price it formed a new bullish structure daily profile yesterday that low is 79.60 so a close below 79.62 would suggest lower price. And that lower price would uh, be about 70.70. And that is the bottom of the monthly profile. Let's pull over my other charts out here, just see if there's any additional signal information that we can provide. And on the daily time frame out here, actually, <clears throat> so there's no bottoming signal that we have inside of uh, MU, Micron. If price can, can uh, at least uh, spike the low from Monday, the low for Monday would be 77.64. That means you need to see 77.63 or lower out there. That'll generate bar number nine 
of a TD9 count. That would say the bottom could form today or on Monday with regard to that pattern out there. If that doesn't happen, we don't do that, then we don't have a bottom signal or what would we need? Um, actually, we don't, I don't even have an A to B equals CD pattern that would be worthwhile to draw in here. So that would be the only bottoming signal that I would be looking for inside of uh, Micron. If I take a look at the weekly time frame chart, all that tells us is that uh, price is above the top, but don't, a new profile form, so it's below that. That would suggest that price could be targeting lows from October. Those lows out there between 65, 67, and 70, 36. So that's the weekly time frame. And the monthly shows a confirmed roads momentum indicator top, wave number seven. That's letter G out there. That suggests that move to 70, 71. So here's what you're going to do. If price can spike below, whether that's today or Monday, you would get that valid TD9 count pattern. And that could suggest some type of bottom. And then at that stage, we'd want to go look at the short-term time frame charts and see what they are communicating. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter. A must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating investors. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other tigers and tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. Are you looking for a secure investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. So I'm trying to uh, figure out where we should spend the last two minutes of our time. We've uh, taken care of all the questions that have come in. So that's a beautiful thing. And, um, you know, it's it's really a combination of things, I think, that we have to be watching. So I'm going to switch over to the daily time frame charts, white background charts here for the equity future contract. And Earl and I, you heard us speaking about the uh, Russell 2000. It's got... Uh, 
a couple of different uh, bottoming patterns out here. In fact, Basil Chapman is going to be filling in for Tommy. He's up next. One of those patterns that uh, could be in play out here is wave number seven. That's letter G on my screen out there. Now, that cannot be confirmed until we see a higher low. So the earliest confirmation of that would be Monday. Would be Monday. We know it's got a TD9 count pattern out here. That was a low of Monday. We know it's a buy the D point pattern. And so that low is really going to be critical to watch. And that area, again, is going to be 1925.20. You've also got a Rhodes momentum indicator signal that is triggered. If somehow by the end of the day that turns into some type of bullish reversal candle, you'll have all kinds of bottom signals. But in this move out here, in this market out here, what price would have to do is close above that red oscillator and change line that was tested on Wednesday out here. So that you can see how that acted as a level of resistance. That number right now is about 2,000. So that's one area to watch. Obviously, the other three, not obviously, but the other three, Futures contracts still have their bottoming patterns out here. The lows of Monday have not been taken out. The Dow Equity Future contract, which has a buy the D point, has just triggered a Rhodes momentum indicator signal. Should it form a bullish reversal candle, that would signal a bottom. And that would suggest at least a move up to the 34,631 level. In the NQ, we're looking for a move up to about the 14,484 level. In the ES, a move up to 44,38. That is what should take place because of all these bottoming signals and because of how oversold the market conditions are. But during the liquidation event, and that is what's going on here, at least that's what Stevie believes by taking a look at markets from across the globe, looking at all kinds of instruments. When I say all kinds of instruments, maybe I can leave us with that. Of course, it is a chart that, or it's a set of, it's a table that uh, will definitely make you go cross-eyed right here. This is the table. But folks, this looks at the rate of change on a daily basis, a weekly basis, a monthly basis, a yearly basis, 2022 year to date. And uh, there is no flight to quality other than King Dollar, U.S. Dollar Day. Folks, stay tuned. Basil Chapman's up next. You're listening at 1 o'clock. It's your favorite reporter, David White. Have a fantastic Friday. See you. Building wealth trading in the stock market seems impossible to most people. They think it's too volatile and risky. Most people aren't going to take the time to educate themselves on how to do it right. But you're not most people, are you? At TFNN, you'll get the guidance you need to refine your strategies and techniques to invest like a pro. Because you'll be a pro. All TFNN subscriptions, books, software, and courses are available at TFNN.com. And I'm even going to tell you how to get them for less. Use TFNN's Tiger Dollars and you'll get up to a 20% bonus on your purchase. And once you apply them to your account, Tiger Dollars are automatically used for all future or recurring charges. Tiger Dollars also never expire, are fully transferable, and are a great way to add savings to your newsletters or services. Become the investor you were born to be at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market,